Hey everybody, how are you guys today? Well, I hope you guys all had a happy Thanksgiving the other day, I know I did. I probably should be out going to a store or something since Black Friday, but I have other things I could be doing, like doing this review for you guys. And I actually don't have any shoutouts for you today, so I'm just going to get right into it. Um, a continuation of Bad Movie Month, I decided to review something that's going to be like one of the worst movies of all time. It's the 2008 movie, Meet the Spartans. Now, before I actually talk about the movie, um, I want to talk about the people who directed the movie. And the people who directed it are two guys named Jason Freeberg and Aaron Seltzer, who, like, they started out their career, I think they wrote the movie Spy Heart, like, this Leslie Nielsen movie didn't do it too well. But I heard it was, like, not good, but not horrible. It was, like, okay. But then they went on to do, they were two of the six writers for the first Scary Movie movie. And I think after that, they went, they left, and they made their own movies. And they're known to be, like, some of the worst movies of all time. Like, first they started out their career with Date Movie, which I liked. I mean, I know some people didn't like it. I actually, um, liked it. Um, ep then they made Epic Movie, which is known to be, like, one of the worst movies of all time, but it's not as bad as their later two ones. I haven't seen Epic Movie, so I can't judge it. Although I've heard, I mean, I heard it was, like, really bad, but I've heard a few people say, like, it was good, because, like, it's not their worst film, I guess. Um, then they made Me the Spawn, which I'll be talking about in a little bit. And then they made Disaster Movie, which that's, that Disaster Movie is known to be, like, the worst film of all time. It's, I don't like it, it's, like, stupid as hell, but at least that one had a few, um, but, you know, it had some, it had its moments. When people say Disaster, and then they made Vampires Suck, which people don't think it's as bad as its other two movies. Like, when people say Disaster Film Movie is the worst, in my opinion, this movie, Meet the Spartans, is the worst. This film is really, really bad. Like, it's it's pointless to talk about the plot anyways, but let me just tell you, it's a parody it's a parody of three hundred. That's your plot basically. Um, like it's actually it's more like three hundred with like other parodies in it, but that basically the mo the main thing is three hundred. It stars Sean McGuire, it stars Carmen Electra, it stars Kevin Sorbo from Borad, it stars Jared Duplay. That that's basically all you need to know. I think I think Diedrich Baker's in it, I think, but I'm not really sure because I don't have a page up, but maybe he's in it. I don't know. I'll check after the review. But that's basically the plot, and I actually, I actually, when I saw the trailer, I thought and listened to reviews. I thought this actually, when even when I was younger, I thought, man, this looks stupid. The only reason I watched this was because two friends of mine who are in my class at my school. I'm not gonna reveal their names because I don't want like people to find out their names and then eventually like like if they're Facebook friends with me, find them and then like get to know much of hate mail. So I'll just refer, refer to them as Blondie and Shorty. That's how I'll refer to them as. They actually said that the movie was good. And I probably shouldn't have listened to them, because, I mean, I'm not going to they don't have bad taste in comedies, but they have kind of a weird taste. Like, they like Willis Protection, they like Beer Fest. Um, Beer Fest I didn't care for, Willis Protection I hated. Um, as you can see in my other reviews. But, and also my dad actually liked Meet the Spawns, which is kind of whatever. But... I would rather watch Village Protection or Beer Fest than this. I would rather watch both of the movies back to back than this any day. This movie was just absolutely horrendous. I mean, I'm like, like, like most everyone like usually like just hates this, and there's a few people that hate this. Like, I want to say like five percent of people in the world like this. I'm in the ninety-five percent. This movie is just god awful. Although it's kind of weird. Like, this movie is awful. And yet, I actually thought there were some scenes in it, some bits, not scenes, bits, that were actually kind of funny. Like, I like the opening um, opening bit where, like, it's a baby and then it turned out to be a Shrek baby. I'm like, you know, that's not kind of a cute joke, but then they screw it up in a way I'll mention later. And then they make a joke, like, it was next baby's like a Vietnamese baby, and he's like, they're like, whatever the these kind of babies, they didn't want Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, took or some, something on the lines of that. I thought that was actually kind of uh, funny too, like, and you know, also, um, and also, um, like, there's also like a joke I like, like, it's like near the end, not near the end, but like, in no, it's, it's near the end, where it's like a Grand Theft Auto joke, um, which is probably my favorite one. It's like a they're fighting, and then it's like Grand Theft Auto, uh, San Andreas. All of a sudden, it turns into that, and then like he, uh, one of the Spartans jumps into a car and starts singing, I'm a Barbie girl. 
I was like, you know what movie? I'll give you that joke. Because th actually, that, that actually made me smile a little bit. Like, that was probably my favorite joke in the movie. Um, I also like this one joke um, where uh, Sean McGuire and Carmen Electra are talking. And, um, like, it's about, like, uh, like going off to war or whatever. You know, like, whatever. Like, stuff like that. And, um, all of a sudden she takes out a laptop, which is stupid. But she... Uh, she's re she's on anacoolnews.com, which is the famous movie reviewing website, and she reads that um, that she thinks that this is just a ch that Harry Knowles says this is a cheap 300 ripoff. That part was funny too, cause that I, cause like they're kind of self de deprecating humor. That's stuff I like, like where they are like in a disaster movie where they say um, the end of the world will be like August 29th, 2008, which is the release day of the disaster movie. That stuff I like, they, when, like, they're, no, they're making fun of themselves, I like that. And I also like, I, I actually, I think I remember liking this one joke where, um, like, Carmen Electra sleep and on her back has, like, all these people that I think, like, she, like, were in her pants or something, and, like, it was, like, Kobe, like, the Unclad Raiders, like, that was actually kind of, kind of funny, too. Um, but, yeah, most of the movie is just horrendous, like, it, it's the same thing freaking complaint that everybody makes for these movies, it's, they take anything, like, popular, whether it's a movie, or a TV show, or a video game, or, like, a popular trend, like a cell phone, or iPod, or something like that, or whatever the popular celebrity is, like Britney Spears, and they just throw them in the movie for, like, no reason, just to say that they parody stuff, like, that's the main complaint, and most of it, it just doesn't, a lot of times, it just doesn't work, and, like, some of the jokes they do, they go on for, like, Ever, because like there's this whole thing about the pit of death, which is of course, if you've seen 300, you know the pit of death. Like, I don't think it's required to watch 300 and get this, but it may, but it may help. Like I've actually watched 300, so I get some of these jokes. Um, so the pit of death actually starts out, it actually starts kind of okay, you know, it's whatever. But then when they get to Britney Spears, and um, she's shaving her head and like holding a baby or whatever, I'm like. Why? And it's like, like, no reason for it all, and then, like, they push her into the pit of death, and then, uh, it, then, for no reason, Sanjaya, uh, from American Idol and Ryan Seacrest get shoved in for, like, no reason at all, just to say, oh, American Idol came out, oh, and a parody film, let's put that in there! And, like, all these, it's just stupid, like, like, and like I said, they make way too many references to, like, cell phones and iPods, and, like, like, like that's not even funny in itself, because, I mean, I understand they're not supposed to be, like, historically accurate, but the joke of, oh, we have a cell phone or an iPod or a whatever in the 300 eras, that's not funny even in itself, it's just, like, there just to be there, and there's no point to it, it's just stupid, um, and, like, the whole, like, like, and, like, the whole thing, like, the whole thing about, like, they're on their journey, like, 300 men are on their journey to, like, defeat Xerxes or something. I don't know how you say his name. And all of a sudden, they come across Paris Hillman. She's, like, she has a hump, and, like, she's, like, really muscular. And, like, the only joke that she said that was kind of okay was, like, I, then I'm in jail, and I'm, like, not jail. It's, like, whatever. It's, like, that line was actually kind of cute. Um, but it's, like, what's the point of that? Like, who the hell is even making fun of Paris Hillman anymore? Like, isn't she, like, not as popular as she is, whatever? Like, what's the point of that? And also, I was actually shocked to know that it's actually kind of almost an unpleasant movie, because it starts out really gross. Like, the Shrek baby, like I talked about in the beginning, like, vomits all over the, uh, uh, Spartan man. And then, eventually, like, one of the main, like, the main guy, like, how he grew up or whatever, like, he gets his, sat in a chair, and gets his nuts bit by a dog, and then, like, I don't know if it's, like, earlier or later, but, um, he's, like, and, like, he goes to a forest, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, like, a penguin, like, I think, uh, is on him, and I think he, like, poos in his mouth or something like that, I don't really know, and I think he's forced him to, like, suck his balls or something, it's, like, how, how is this supposed to be funny? Like, like, it's trying to be funny, it's not funny. It's just unpleasant, and like the whole penguin thing, it's like this, this this cheap happy feet thing, and like actually that part of the movie, that was the part I was giving it the benefit of the doubt. Like maybe this could possibly like it's like some of it's working, some of it isn't, but maybe it can actually take a turn for the better. 
the moment when they started doing like <clears throat> um uh a dance go off and all of a sudden the dancing with the stars people come in that was the point I really hated the film and by the time they were like had this coffee shop in the middle of Sparta I was like I I didn't give two licks of a crap about it like there's nothing you could do to make this film good like cuz like some of the jokes are just pointless like the, the whole like like they have a Amer- like the the whole happy feet thing like America's next top model dancing with the stars they're there for no reason at all they're just there because they were popular and it was it's suited for a parody film so just put them in there like and like like you can feel like they just don't give a crap they just they're just putting anything in there just to get a cheap laugh and like also these double um how do you say double on days or something it's like it's like a joke that can mean two different things like these jokes I um cuz like there's a scene where like uh the I think the two Spartan leaders are like recruiting the men or something no no, no like one of the guys son is coming and he says like well that guy's got a big package and what do you know he's holding a big box in front of his ding ding and you're just like and like, again, like, when will those jokes go away in these movies? It does not work anymore. No one laughs at that. That stuff's not funny. Date movie it worked. Like, date movie. I know some people say, like, hated it. The thing was, date movie was not that bad compared to these movies. At least date movie was focusing on, like, the romantic comedy era. So the jokes that they made, like, are more appealing to film goers in general because some of the jokes they may not even get if you haven't seen, heard of these cer certain movies. So it's, you know, relevant. And of course, they made the jokes about Lord of the Rings and King Kong, which fell flat. Um, but even some of the jokes, like the Napoleon Dynamite joke or the Wedding Crashers joke, those jokes worked. Um, these, and they're like trying to like make things sensical. This, they're not trying. They're just throwing anything in there, and it's like, like there's not a single joke in this entire movie, good or bad, that the 13-year-old boy could wrote himself wrote this movie. 13-year-old boys have an excuse. What's their excuse? Like. What is up with, like, mm, like, and also the worst, the worst thing about their joke telling is that I hate it when they, like, they set up the jokes for us. Like, we're not smart enough to, um, figure out the jokes ourselves, because, you know, they're really freaking smart. Like, they'll be like, Paris Hilton will come in, and they'll be like, oh, look, it's Paris Hilton. And, uh, like, the Dancing with the Stars, there'll be a big Dancing with the Stars logo behind him, and, like, whatever. And you're just like, shut up, all right? We're not stupid. We get the jokes. We we should be like good comedy parodies. Like we should just know, like p good parodies. I think should allow us to um be smart enough so we can get the joke. They don't need to introduce it for us because these jokes are painfully <coughs> blatant. We know what they're spoofing, so you don't need to set up the joke for us. Just like. Uh, and, and, like, it ends with this, like, really stupid I'm a survivor American Idol thing, which, like, I mean, you know, honestly, what more can I say? I, I basically said it all. Um, if you like this movie, um, I'm not gonna say I, I, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say I totally understand, but if you like it, whatever, we all have our opinions. Not all of us is gonna agree with, um, everyone's opinion. But, you know, maybe if you like it, maybe there was a crowd for it. Like I said, there probably is that um, five percent. Like I, like I said, I used to like disaster movie before I realized that it was like just stupid. But I just, it's, it's ungodly horrendous. Like it's zero stars. I mean, what else more can I say? This movie is zero out of four stars. Like I, I think this probably may be the worst parody film I've seen because I don't know if there can be a parody film like worse than this. I just, I've never seen a parody film. So lazy. Although I'll say this, the actors are okay. the actors are good. Like at least the script sucks, but the actors at least maybe they had fun doing it and they were at least trying to do something good. Um, and like, and I will say also I will say this like there there's a whole thing about a transformer joke where it's you no know, not in the film as usual because they just parry things for no freaking reason, but it's just like gratuitous. But I will say this the the effect. Uh, of the Transformer suit, it's not. Of course, it's not as good as the original movie, but it's actually it actually kind of looks good. The effect of the Transformer suit. Um, but then of course they ruin it with the YouTube. It's just, it's just it's zero star. I 
I don't think I've seen a stupider uh, parody film in my life. I just I I just don't know if if it can get any worse than this. I mean, I just I mean maybe I'll get to that point where I'll hate disaster movie worse, but I just I don't know the few people that like this like this. I mean, I maybe I understand, but I just I hate this movie. And like, am I saying it's pretty pathetic in a parody film like this? They couldn't even get the black midget to do it, like, cause he's in, um, like he was in a disaster movie, he was in an epic movie, he was in a date movie. Maybe he was just maybe he was like busy or something, like, or maybe he wanted a career, you know? Even though he's probably not gonna have much of a career, but I digress. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my review. I hate this movie. It's zero out of four stars. It's so far, and if you think that this is the worst film I reviewed this year. Next week, there is something out there that is the bottom of the barrel this year. It's not the worst film ever, but it's awful. The movie is coming to you next week. Well, um, now you guys let me know. Let me leave a comment or video response down below telling me, one, have you seen Meet the Spartans? Two, did you like Meet the Spartans? If you did, you know, that's okay. I mean, there are probably, most people don't like it, but if you like it, you know, Two inches don't, I guess. Everyone has different tastes. Um, three, what is your favorite parody film? And four, what is your least favorite? I know I'm also going to say Scary Movie. Um, I mean, Scary Movie, I like. Scary Movie 2, maybe I just need to watch it again, but when I originally watched it, I remember it being, like, decent, but not a good movie, but it was, like, it was almost a good movie, but not really. There were a few, because there were some jokes that fell flat. Scary Movie 3, I haven't seen. Actually, I think my favorite, I'm going to sound stupid, um, although maybe I've seen other ones, parody films, whatever, but so far I think one of my favorites is Scary Movie 4. Like, I don't love the film, but it's a really good parody film. I'm sh I know people don't like that, but compared to this, Meet the Spartans, it's a lot better. So yeah, that's my review. Well, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna make myself happy, because I don't want to think about this movie. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Take care. Bye.